Well, happy St. Patrick's Day. Lee Harder, T&D here. Uh, actually, some very sad news to bring you on this St. Patrick's Day. The Zeus Industrial Products announced the death of its founder, Frank Tourville Sr., uh, basically an Orangeburg icon in so many respects beyond industry. Um, you will be reading a lot more about him and hearing a lot more about Mr. Tourville um, in our online coverage as well as in print. Also, to, from today's headlines, um, you'll read where a, um, a company is developing a new facility for a plastics plant that is to come to Orangeburg. You'll also want to take note of the fact that Thursday may produce some uh, nasty weather in the afternoons with chances of hail and even tornadoes. And if you think back to the year ago, almost, almost now to the date, not quite, uh, the violent tornadoes that hit in Orangeburg County, we know they can happen. Uh, you'll also read today about a fire destroying a residential facility in St. Matthews, and an interesting story out of the state legislature about the um, trying to standardize our South Carolina state flag. Over on the editorial page, today's opinion piece is an, an unusual one. It's about the Bradford pear trees, um, which have been putting on a real springtime blooming display in the Garden City and everywhere else around us. Uh, but there's a controversy surrounding those trees and the potential impact they have as basically an invasive species. Over in sports, um, Bradley Harris covered uh, talking or talked with Coach Pugh yesterday from SC State. And needless to say, he was really glad to get a win under his belt last Saturday. But he's got some more stuff to say and I think you'll find that of interest. Um, Stay tuned with us for more coverage of the Bulldogs, and we will talk to you tomorrow.